All right, I'm going to be going over Acts chapter 11, and this is just one solid section. The uh, E sword separates, you know, the chapters into different sections, and uh, this is just one section. This is Peter reports to the church. That's Acts chapter 11. Peter reports to the church. So Acts chapter 11, verse 1, and this is somewhat of a short one. It's like 30 verses or something like that. And probably wonder why I'm always doing this to my face and stuff. I don't know. It's dusty in here, and I have allergies, so I'm constantly just, my sinuses are just bothering me. And I'm trying not to sneeze or whatever. And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. Okay, so the, one, the apostles and brethren in Judea heard that the Gentiles received the word of God. That's what we previously read in chapter 9, when Peter saw a vision, he was told to go with these men to Cornelius, and he preached the gospel to the Gentiles, and they received the Holy Spirit, and uh, they <clears throat> spoke in tongues, and uh, praised God, and so they were converted, so now it's been heard of, and Acts chapter 11 verse 2 says, and when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, Thou wentest into men uncircumcised, and didst eat with them. But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning, and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision, a certain vessel descended. And it had been a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners, and it came even to me. Upon the which, when I had fastened mine eyes, I considered, and saw four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay, and eat. But I said, no, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God hath cleansed, that call not thou common. And this was done three times. And all were drawn up again into heaven. And behold, immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was, sent from Caesarea unto me. And the Spirit bade me to go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house, and he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa, and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter. Who shall tell these words, whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved. Begin to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, as on us at the beginning. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For as much then as God gave them the light gift, as he did unto us, who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, what was I that I could withstand God? When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, Then hath God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life, the church in Antioch. Oh, the church in Antioch. I guess there is two sections in this. I messed up on this, so this would be the second section of the church in Antioch. So that first section is basically just a retelling of what we already read in Acts chapter 9. And uh, so now we got a second in Antioch. Acts chapter 11, verse 19. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phenis and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but the, unto the Jews only. So we're talking about those that were scattered because of the persecution of Stephen when Stephen was stoned. They traveled these different areas, and they were only preaching to the Jews. Some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, or Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto God. So it seems like they started preaching to the Gentiles also. Then tidings of these things come into the ears of the church, which was in Jerusalem. And they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came and had seen the grace of God, was glad, and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. 
for he was a good man and full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. More people being saved, then departed Barnabas to Tarsus, for to seek Saul. And when he found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people, and the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. And there stood up one of them named Agabus, and signified by the Spirit that there should be a great dearth throughout all the world which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. When the disciples even, when, when the, then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Judea, which also they did, and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. The uh, war, basically, or something like that. There was a uh, something going on, and it seems like this was the first time that Saul met up with the apostles, maybe. So, more people saved, being spread out, the gospel going to the Gentiles, Saul joins them, there's uh, some kind of war or something going on, <clears throat> and uh, dearth, I don't know. And so they send some relief for him, and that's about it. So, um, not a whole lot in this one. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, I always keep saying, you know, this is a really good chapter, or this is a really important chapter. And, of course, every verse, every chapter, every book in the Bible is important. It's good to know. But, you know, there are some that are less eventful and stuff. In this one, the whole first part is basically retelling what we just read in Acts chapter 9. So this is one of the one of the lesser ones where it seems like not really a whole lot was, was talked about here. You know, a little bit, but... <clears throat> All right, let's go on to Acts chapter 11. God bless.